hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and I am taking a break from the Amazonian maze, and we're coming to a new mission that has been made available for the game. Apparently they're going to be adding some more of the fish monsters, and they're going to have more missions in addition to the ones that had existed previously from the Halloween events. And one of these is called the Lesney Vila Pike Fins Lure Mission. And basically what this is about is the Perch Bully. The Perch Bully is apparently some kind of fish that's terrorizing the Lesney Vila Pond. It says this huge perch is relentlessly devouring all pike it can bite its teeth into and soon there may be none left. But to catch the monster you'll have to sacrifice a few more pike because the perch bully only bite if you use the pike fins lure. Now I think there's been some other YouTubers that have covered this. I haven't even checked this out. I was still messing around with the Amazonian maze and getting my cash up almost to 300,000. I tell you that is a awesome DLC to buy if you ever get a chance guys. But we're going to take a little break here and come in here and see what we can do about catching these pikes and maybe this fish because that sounds like a nice little distraction. Now I'm hoping that I have set my gear up in such a way that I can catch him. I was trying not to change too much of my inventory so that I can go back to the Amazonian maze. Still kept the same bottom rods, just made the hooks smaller, one-aught hooks. Should be good enough for the smaller pike and um, of course they will be going for the small minnows shiners I'm maybe pushing up the large minnows but we're going to give it a try usually these guys are pretty voracious so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue one out hooks for every one of them that should be small enough but not too small and we will also be using this light feather light rod and I'm probably going to use Let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and change my lure here, but I know they don't go for any of the crankbait here. I've tried it and never had any success with them. Let's see, we've got quite a few of them here. This can go down to two-fifths of an ounce, so I think we might be able to get away with a quarter ounce medium spoon. There you go. That should work. We've also got these nano spoons. We can try those if those don't work. And these narrow spoons. And we do have some nano spinners here available. So I shouldn't have to change too much. We're going to come right in on the peak. Know exactly where to go. We need to go down here to the right. This is where I've been catching them in the past. I've either caught them there or over on this end where the lilies are on this side. So we're going to see how well we can do here. Now, the only thing is, it is kind of misty. We're going to have to deal with that, though, unfortunately. And we need to head, I believe it's this way. All the way to the left. Yeah, that's right. Left? That's right. <laughs> so I need to catch five of these guys. Yeah, this is the location. It's kind of like the point. If you look at the map here one more time it's the point down here and I'm not sure if I've caught anything here no it looks like I just have markers now there I caught the decorated Prussian carp and there's another mark I mean I'm getting rid of those marks eventually if I catch what I'm after here now let's see I'm gonna try to f come up with the best position where I can clearly get past these lilies. Yep, that's exactly what I need there. And we are gonna try doing some bottom fishing too. We might be able to get one or two that way. It's always a good try. And like I said, they usually seem to hang around in this location. And there's other things that might go for this too, so can't be entirely sure. I don't come to this lake often because this is actually kind of an early entry level lake that came much later. 
after I'd already been advanced like past level 30. But I'm going to try the medium spoon to start off with. Might try some narrow spoons, see what they're going to go for here. Thought like I was getting a bite there for a second. They usually go for the medium spoons pretty well. If that doesn't work, we'll try one of the spinners and put a spinner tail on it. And we'll do a slow retrieve if that's the case, because that all the pike family seem to go for those very well. Let's throw it out a little bit further this time. Alright, there we go. First bite, right over there to the right. And there you go. Young Northern Pike, 61. He is not heavy enough though. They have to be greater than 1.1 pound. So we're going to have to focus our attention. Well, no. Oh, it says less than 1.1. I'm sorry. I read that completely wrong. So that is my first one. Very cool. Yeah, I read that completely wrong. For some reason, I think it was greater than. Heck, I'm not even sure if they come that big. Ah, shoot, we got a snag here. Shell. <laughs> Sometimes that turns into gold, though, guys. Every now and then you get some kind of special mission for cleaning out the, the pond or whatever. Yeah, they're going to go for these pretty well. I don't think this is going to take too long. These quarter ounce spoons, Pike really love them. Oh, he's too heavy. Son of a gun. He didn't count. <laughs> well, that stinks. I think I might try this one more time. Then I might try the one of the spinners. This may be too big. That might be. I don't know if that's the. Well, I did get one the right size, so. Usually you want the bigger ones. <laughs> Now well, we got us something else here. Let's see. There we go. He falls right in there. There's two of them. Let's try with that. The bottom ones I'm doing squat. We're definitely doing much better with the lure. Tell you, I might try something. Let's see if there's any walkers or poppers here that I can use. I think they're all too big. Yeah. I'm not sure they could go for any of these, honestly. They're probably all too big. Let me 
see here. As far as spinners go, I would like to give it a shot here because let's see this one fifth ounce. I want to try one of those spinner tails. Now I was told that white, red, or yellow are usually the best to try. Let's try a red one here. And in this case you want to do a slow retrieve. So I'm taking it down to one notch. And instead we do a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. That should get us the three dots we need. There we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's too big, too. I did get some bites off of this, but most of them are nibbles. They do go for this fairly well, but I didn't get as many hits as I did off of that yellow tiger spoon. But surprisingly, I'm getting the much bigger ones. So honestly, it might behoove me to use a smaller hook here, guys. Let's see if I've got one that does have one. Now, most of them are one aught, even the spinner baits. Yeah. I don't think we have a number one. Here's a nano spoon. We could give that a shot, see if that does anything. This is a 1 16th ounce, so this is a little bitty. I went ahead and picked the perch colored one. <laughs> Might do better with a different one. I don't know. We'll see. It really surprises me, though, that these bottom rods are not doing anything. I mean, nothing. Let's try them out a little further. Maybe I'm doing it too close. Truth be known, we might get them all by lore. It's hard to say. Yeah, I have a feeling though that just is too dang gone big. Let's just go ahead with. I just believe the small minnows are going to do better, but I might even size the hook down just a, even a little bit more. Toss it in just past those lily pads. It may not change a thing, you never know, but we'll see. Yeah, we've caught four. But two of them were over 1.1 pound. I'm going to try this like maybe three or four times if I don't get anything. Well, actually I did. 
And this one's not fighting real, real hard, so he may be well within the... Nope, it's a perch. And we got our first bite off of this, so that's good. This is using a number one hook, and I think we might have... Yep, we did. He's just the right size. So that makes number three. Let's see, where did I throw that? It was right over here, wasn't it? Yep. So, small minnows, number one hook. Giving them a little bit of length seems to help too, if you're lure fishing. Now, I did catch one fairly close, but I really had to, to play with it to get it to work. The spinner did pretty good, but not as good as these spoons. Oh, looks like we got another one. Small minnows again. Hopefully this guy isn't too big. Ah, I could tell right off the bat he was too big. 1.295, not a bad fish, not for this lake. Just a little too big, though. Yeah, they're definitely going for the small minnows here, guys. I thought I'd try this green one for a little while, too. So far, I haven't had any takers. I, th I kind of like to mix and match things. I wish I had a small enough frog or a big enough... Okay, there we go. This guy might be a little big. Damn. <laughs> Can't believe When you want to catch the small ones, you can't catch the small ones. Jeez. I've caught a whole multitude of big ones. Well, I did manage to get one off the bison spinner, but he's yet again too big. Hmm. Tell you what, guys. Why don't we switch over to flow fishing? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and take it to about 30. I'm going to get like a one, number one hook. Smaller bobber. And we're going to try the small minnows since that seems to be what these guys are fancying. Okay, I think we may have us a bite here, right over the pile of lily pads.
There we go. And there's our fourth one. Okay, let me mark that. I wanted to get rid of some of these other ones anyway. Actually, that one I could keep. Eh, let's leave it there. It kind of marks the deep spots. That can go. Kind of want to get these marked because I want to be able to find them. Now that's where I threw it. That's not where it ended up. Looks like that's a pretty good spot. And we got one on there too. I'm not so sure that's what we're after. Yep, we got us a perch. So let's hope this one is. This is where I caught the last one. This may be our fish. Yes, it is. There we go. So we got the pike fin spoon, 1 16th ounce, 2 watt. This is what we need to catch the perk. I think that's spell, spelled wrong. It should be perk, perch bully, not pack bully. And I wonder where this guy's going to be. That's what I'm curious about. Oh boy, I'm not so sure, but I think it might not have had room to be... Yep, I think I was full up. <sighs> yep, it was. I have to go back all the way back to the... I have to leave and go pick it up from my main storage. All right, guys, we have managed to get the pike fin spoon. It did go back to my home storage because I'm pretty much full in my inventory right at the moment. But we can still go ahead and try to get this guy. I have no idea where he's gonna be. The mission's already set up the track though. So, make sure to look in the pond's most remote spots. And I think this is about as remote as it gets, honestly. We'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, then we'll move to the other side. You take that down a little bit there. Usually, though, it... When it comes to these monsters, most of the time they're not that tough to catch, but there's been a few that have been trickier and all get out. Oh, we got him, guys. We got him. Like at the last minute. Monster Perch Bully. There he is. 4.542 pounds, 330 cash. He is a funky looking fish. Now, I have been. <laughs> took me a while. I really did, but I caught him like right there off the shore. Let me take a look at this guy. There we go. Monster Perch Bully, huh? 
See if I can get him in the light a little bit. He's definitely marked very differently than regular perch. We got him, guys. Let's get a picture of him. Another one. Damn, there he was kind of hard to find. Some of these monster ones are. I don't know. But anyway, he is a new introduce. He is a new mission, guys. That was just introduced last week. Thought you guys might want to see that. I think we're going to get some kind of a perch bully mount. We got two bait coins, 1945 and 920 XP. Not too bad. Not too bad. We got an extra lure out of it too. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. May take a break from Fishing Planet Classic for a little while. I have been focusing so much on this due to the Amazonian maze. So we might be going back to the Fisherman for a little while and some of the other fishing games. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.